morning everybody hope you're all doing well it's a beautiful day out there blue sky today which is lovely i have a little unboxing it's another subscription box this is called paper gang and it's a stationary subscription box yeah why did i get this one i got this one because there was an offer on where i could get two boxes for the price of one <laughs> Soccer. <laughs> it seems to be quite an ethical company. Um, so they say that they have partnered with international development charity Tree Aid. For every four paper gam boxes we sell, one tree will be planted in association with the charity. Tree Aid work with communities in the drylands of Africa to protect the environment and help villagers grow and use trees for nutritious food all year round. These trees provide fruits and nuts which villagers grow to eat and sell, making money for their children's health care and education. Tree aid work in Burkina Faso, Ethiopia, Ghana, Mali and Niger and have helped more than half a million people across Africa grow more than 10 million trees. So that's good. I think. Who knows? It sounds good. So I thought I'd give it a go anyway and see what it was all about. I'm not a massive stationer. But you always need notepads and it's quite nice to have little cards and stuff. So I thought I'd um, I'd give this one a go. You can unsubscribe at any time. Price. <laughs> the price is £10.95 per month. Rolling month, monthly basis. And you get one box for that. But because this was a new subscription and they were offering, you know, they were offering a two for one offer, I went for it. So shall we open it and see what's what? So I get the May box. And I also get a random extra box of from the past, I think. So let's see. Let's see what's in there. It's very exciting. I know the May box is pink, so I'll take the pink one out and then we'll see what I've got as the surprise box. So here we go. This is it. So we have a little cardboard sleeve. You cut along the dotted line and use in your reading books or bullet journals. Um, you're coming right back. I'll just wait here for you then. So if you want some little um, bookmarks, you can cut those out if you want. All right, we're in. Pink sleeve. Push the box out. So it's a nice plain cardboard box. Let's open it. I'll show you first, like I always do. Oh, there we go. <laughs> How paper gown works. This is what it is said here. It says, we think of fun ideas for the coming months box. We work with illustrators over the globe on our in-house team to design the products. Our illustrative creations are brought to life in stationary form. Yeah, uh, yay, 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 <laughs> yay. A box full of paper goodness arrives at your door and they repeat each month for every four boxes we make one tree will be planted in association with tree aid so there you go that's how it works that's the little boxy this i think you get this uh when you first subscribe it's a it's a little pencil dude he's called drew for obvious reasons I'm the leader of the paper gang. I'm an iron-on patch to make your membership official. Well, I don't think I'll be ironing that onto anything, really. Uh, but cute. So here we go. It's wrapped in purple tissue paper. Right. Here we go. This is what's in the May box. Let's see. So first of all, I think there's another sort of patch here which says forever awkward. That's about right for me. Maybe I could iron it just about there. Yep, this is an iron-on patch as well. Uh, I'm not sure about these. I'm not really an iron-on patch kind of girl, but my nieces might like them. Then we have a little booklet here, Paper Gang Oh Dear, by Oh Dear. And it's got the contents. Okay, and the it's got the contents and the amount that everything is. So let's have a look at these first of all. So we have a little card here. You make me smile like a monkey with a new banana. <laughs> I like that. That's very good. <laughs> oh, I'll have to keep that one for someone because that's very funny. This one says, you're such a weirdo. 
but I am too, so that worked out. <laughs> oh, that's good too. That, they're quite me, actually. quite like those. I like those. What else did we get? We got a little calendar type of thing. I suppose you could stick on the fridge. You could totally make up which calendar that is. Um, so that's relatively handy, I suppose, if you're into calendars. This says, let's crack on and get stuff done. And it has got, uh, it's got numbers down the side, six to 21, which is weird. What does that mean? When to get stuff done? <laughs> right, so anyway, so it's got numbers down the right hand side columns, number six to number 21. So obviously you can only do things <laughs> from the sixth to the 21st of each month. I'm not really sure what that means. And the one on the left says stuff to do today. So yeah, I'm a bit confused with that. Anybody help me out with that one? Okay. And then we have a bag, I think. This is a bag, it says, you're all kinds of awesome. That's nice, lovely colour, like a lavendery movie colour. Very nice. We like, we like. Let's have a look at this little booklet thing because I reckon it's going to give us a clue about some of this stuff. The tote bag printed in the UK, RRP is £14.95. The woven patch was 5 95 the A5 notepad was five ninety five, and two greeting cards five pounds, and they're designed by Catherine Ings. Tells you a little bit about stuff. I don't really know what. I think it's a little bit about the designer. So that's the first box. So in the in the first box, we've got the tote bag. We've got this very strange um, notepad, where you can only actually do things on the sixth and the twenty first. To the, of the month then you've got a little monthly calendar you've got two very funny cards i like those they're a winner and um a bit of a pointless iron-on patch okay i'm i'm underwhelmed a little bit underwhelmed i must admit but let's open the second box and see what's in that i guess it depends each month how much you're going to like something depending on the designer so this is the one that i've got it's got flowers on it which is very nice and leaves and on the back it's got cut out and keep plant markers okay so here we go this one let's open it up pull off the little thingy and in this one we have navy blue I'm going to be a bit more gentle opening this one because you could reuse this, couldn't you? Right, oh, difficult to open. Here we go. This is what's in this one. So this is completely different. So we have a little ruler which says, ooh dear. Now you're not going to believe this, but I don't actually have a ruler. So that's actually quite useful. It's quite small, but very useful and it's made of wood. And I drop it. The second item is a little booklet which says notes on it and it's got this kind of material on the outside. Lovely interior. This book belongs to and it's lined. And it's got date at the top. Oh and it's even got one of these little things so that's good. That's actually a really handy little notebook. It's quite nice. I like. Then we have this. Ooh, that's really heavy. Look, it's like a bamboo. It's sort of, is it silver or gold? I'm not sure. What's it? Ooh. I don't know. That's not right, is it? It's a pen. It's a pen. Is here it? Is that the? No. Okay. <laughs> Do we pull? Oh, I'm really confused. This side. 
No. What the hell is this thing? I'm really confused. What? It's obviously a pen. Look at that, it's got this weird um, thing on the end of it. I don't know. Is that, does that look, just look like it's leaked or dried or? I don't know about that, that's a bit weird. I don't even know how to get into the pen. It must be. Well, this is bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. It comes apart in like four places. I'm very confused about how you use this pen. You'd think that would undo there, wouldn't you? If I can't get it open. This is bizarre. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to find out about this pen because I've not got a clue. And it doesn't work. Last thing in the box is this thing here. Oh, it's wrapping paper, I think. Oh, that's quite nice. Some wrapping paper. It's got beautiful print on it. So there you go. That's what's in the box. Pen that doesn't work in any way, shape or form. I'm going to have to watch a YouTube video and find this one. So I'm just looking at past boxes on their website and I was given this one for the um, extra box and it looks like I don't even have... Oh, this is bizarre. Um, I've got completely different things in mine. So I've got the wrapping paper. Um, I don't have this calendar thing or this little notebook thing. But I've got this. So it doesn't look like this was an original box, the one that I've got anyway, which is bizarre. And this is obviously the pen, but I can't even open it. Hi, guys! Ta da! Just like magic, I'm dressed in my gym kit. And it's a bit random. But I had to stop with the, the whole paper gang thing yesterday because I was so flummoxed by it all that I just felt like I needed to email them and ask them the question, uh? and then they kept got back to me with an answer. So now I can give you a better, you know, a more informed uh, review because I had no idea what was going on. And now I know, and I watched some YouTube videos on some of the other unboxings and stuff. And I, I know now, I know how to do it all, it's good. First of all, let's clear up the pad issue. Now you probably all sitting there shouting at the screen going, it's the time, it's the time. But I just didn't have a clue. That to me was the dates, uh, but it clearly, it clearly wasn't. It's, this is what you have to do today and when you have to get stuff done. And these are the times uh, from six o'clock in the morning till nine o'clock at night. I had no clue. Yeah, sorry about that if you were getting really annoyed with me. I just couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. The pen issue, what had happened was I'd unscrewed it here and the nib thing here came off with it inside. That's why I couldn't see this pointy nib thing. So that's why I couldn't find the actual, you know, pen. Now the second thing, we're going to do this together, this little red thing here on top, can you see that? Right, that red thing there apparently is a wax seal. Who knew? So I need to take that off and then the pen should work. Oh no, it's crazy isn't it? So let's, um, let's do that. Okay, so the wax seal's off. Let's see if the pen works. Right, so we've got the um, the dodgy pad 
and we've got the dodgy pen oh, look it works it works <laughs> the other thing that i was questioning was why i had different things in my box to what was online so basically paper gang says you're not guaranteed to get the same things in the box it depends on manufacturing and it depends on uh, stock and all this sort of stuff so that is why i got this book with um, that interior and it's a hardback and it's actually better than the one that other people got so i'm chuffed <sighs> that was a stressful review so all in all, I think I'm quite pleased. I think for 10.95, it's probably quite good. I'm definitely gonna keep it going next month because I've seen a little taster of the next box and I really like it. It's like a marine inspired. So I hope I've cleared that all up for you and it wasn't uh, too much of a all over the place video. It certainly was a bit all over the place for me. <laughs> all done, sorted. We worked it all out, we got there in the end. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching and speak soon.